Good morning folks. This is Rempel and Rempel Moose Guiding Outfit here and we're going to show you a little bit about how to field dress a moose the gutless method here. So you can see we blasted them out in the middle of this beautiful field here. Quick 360 around on a gorgeous day October the 2nd and here he lay. What you want to do first off so we've just cut him up the belly and you can see that we've peeled all of that hide back, exposing all our meat along the side here. And then we're gonna harvest off those both quarters. And we're gonna take all the meat off the neck, off the side, and go in for the back straps, and even be able to get the tenderloin, which we'll show you all later. Take a front, first front quarter off. More guys, the better. Here we go. So it gets easier, easier, easier. We're just searching for the joint in there. There we go. And we're gonna go over and feel the blade in there. And there's a place right in between that it separates right off. How are you doing there? Good. They get slippery. There we go. So that's right. one quarter that off there so now we can come in here we can harvest all of this meat off of here off of his neck and his hump and his sides and everything and then take the second quarter off the same way all right so just come in on the side like that take all this meat off or along the hip and there's that ball joint off she comes and there's a nice quarter back quarter laying right there so right along here is the back strap just wanted to show you where it comes from i just cut along the backbone and then i cut along the top of the ribs here you can feel. And that pulls out. Really nice meat. That's probably your second best cut on the entire moose. Delicacy. A back strap there. And then in that same spot on the inside is that tenderloin that runs in from over here like I showed you. So that's a little more difficult. But you can feel the backbone runs along here. And that's where I got to get in on. Start opening that up. On the inside of that. And cut all along the backbone in here. And you gotta basically feel in here. This is finicky work. This this here, that's his gut bag right there. So the gutless way you wanna not cut that. So basically, like I'm showing you here, you can see you wanna be cutting in here, cutting, 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 till you get that back strap out like that. And that there is your best chunk of meat on the whole moose. We'll be eating that tonight. So here we go. Uh, we got that side all done. Got the meat all cut off the neck. And got it all cut off the, uh, the sides. And we rolled them over. So that's exactly halfway. All we do now is repeat the process. Look at that. There's back, front, back strap, tenderloin, and our hamburger meat, which is the neck and side. Does that thing work? It does. That is pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. So that there is made to make these uh, cuts along each leg, along the belly, and the best tool for it is right there. Swing blade. Outdoor edge. 
swing blade. Gets underneath and zip. Does a good line on a moose. Things like this one don't work. Not thick enough. The hairs or skin is and hair is way too thick. Gets just caught up in there. That's the way to go. Now we can start peeling that back. And lickety split, we'll have all the skin hide right off of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hide peeled all off of them. There it is. Got a good working space. So again, I'll just repeat the process. Let's see you do a knuckle there, Ash. Mm -hmm. So you want to bend it, see where your knuckle is, and then just work your way around. Nice, sounds like you had that blade right yep. in there. Off. You can see right in there. Get right in the knuckle. No need for a saw. Just cut a bit of the cartilage away. Nice, yeah, I can see right in there. See there? Yeah. Very nice. Look at that. Just a tendon or something hanging on in there, eh? Yeah. One last ten and eight. There we go. So the really nice, another real advantage to this, you can oh. see our tools here and pack that off. So we have no saw, so we need little it. knife like that. And a knife that size will do this entire moose. So here we go. We're just gonna take off the back. Quarter, I'm pulling, make some pressure. There's the ball right in there. So I'll give you a little bit of a view. We've left some sign of sex on it here as required. Okay, here she comes. Get that over there. Alright, guys, we're gonna peel it back onto it. Right there, a bag for those. So that I keep it fairly clean. And get in there, like this. All right, well, this is one last look. We're all done here. That took, uh, I don't know, a couple hours, guys. Maybe a little more. We take our time. We do a nice, clean job. It's a beautiful day, morning hunt, so why not? This is what we're left with. We're putting all our meat into uh, game bags right now. We'll hang it in a tree for a nice cold night tonight. We've got the head off. That is all the guts, backbone and everything left there. And the hide, 
And like I showed you, that's what will all our meat harvested nicely to pack out of there. So that's that, the gutless way of uh, harvesting a moose. We're on mine, Spence, and we'll walk over if Uncle Harv grabs this and a gun. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I'll grab that. 